It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. On keto, salt is your friend. I know, I know you've all heard that we must watch our salt intake. And it's true that if you have certain health problems, there are good reasons to keep your salt intake low. Many people have high sodium potassium ratio problems. Because of the high carbohydrate diet most people have, they have naturally higher insulin levels. Your kidneys are being affected in a way that leads to higher sodium levels in the blood. Once you get into ketosis, however, you'll have naturally lower insulin levels so that then the kidneys will have to get rid of a lot more salt through the urine. It means you will actually have to add more salt in your diet to keep your salt levels up to the correct level. Having enough salt in your diet will keep your electrolyte levels in better balance. That'll help you feel and function at a much higher level. I love it personally. I love salt. When you're on the keto diet, you need more salt than when you were on a high carb diet. I don't recommend the regular salt most people eat, the table salt like at the restaurant. Look for Himalayan pink salt or my favorite, real salt. Real salt is a brand name. Look for it in natural food stores or online. These brands of salt are from old ocean beds. They contain a lot of minerals in addition to the salt making it a lot more like what you get in your food naturally. There are other ways to get your salt besides sprinkling it on your food. You can get it right inside certain foods naturally. This form is really best. It's what the body loves and is able to handle in a much more natural way. You can drink broth during the day. Bone broth is really good. Or if you're a vegetarian, there are vegetable-based broths. They have salt in them in a really easy-to-use form for the body. Another technique is to add a few sprinkles, and I mean just a few sprinkles, into your drinking water. It makes the water function sort of like Gatorade in the way that it replenishes the electrolytes in the body. Eat celery and cucumber which are low carb and have natural sodium content. Consider having salted pumpkin seeds and macadamia nuts as part of your diet. If you're really adventurous, try adding sea vegetables like kelp and nori into your food. You may not like just chomping into them alone, but you can definitely add them into other recipes. Give it a try. You might like it. Like everything else in life, one size doesn't fit all. If you're on a bad diet and your sodium levels are high, listen to your doctor. But if you're a keto warrior and well into your keto diet, salt is probably necessary and a really helpful addition to your diet. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com and we'll see you next time.